Hey, this is Trey. So for a while now, it's kind of hard to get EMB to work with Grand Theft Auto V. Some of you may have been using Boris's injector that he created to try to work around the issue. The problem with that is it's apparently incompatible with Rage Hook, but I also personally found an issue that when using that, setting the game time, like changing the game time of the trainer like Menu or Rampage Trainer would just completely crash the game. So I've got a workaround here for you that should be compatible with anything that ENB used to be compatible with before things started going crazy. So if you're using this, I'm gonna put an image on the screen. Go ahead and remove it, you don't need that anymore. Also, if you're using the old workaround of setting the game executable to compatibility mode for Windows 7, go ahead and turn that off as well. What we're gonna do, we don't need compatibility mode at all. So first thing that you're gonna need after those two steps, and the link to this is gonna be down in the description, you're gonna to wanna to go to this GitHub page and just click on the latest release on the right here and go ahead and download that. Now, there's something that you should be warned about because this is designed to inject things into running processes. Windows is going to lose its mind and think it's a virus. And if you use any other antivirus software other than the one that comes with Windows, it's probably gonna freak out too. You're gonna to need to make an exception for this in your antivirus, whether that's Windows Defender or another antivirus that you use. Making exceptions in your antivirus is kind of beyond the scope of this video, but just know that that's what you need to do for this to work. Otherwise, it's, Windows is just not gonna allow it to run. So once you've got it downloaded, when you download this, Windows might even freak out just from downloading it. So you'll have to like go into your, your Windows Defender and tell it to allow the download and maybe re-download it. But regardless, whatever you have to do to get it downloaded, once you've got it, open up the file, the, the archive, and you're gonna take this and you're gonna drag and drop it into the main Grand Theft Auto V directory. So I've already got mine in there. You can see it right there, so I'm not gonna bother with that. Okay, the next thing that you need to do is open it up. And again, just make sure you've got an exception in your antivirus so it can actually run. Okay, so first thing that you need to do is just type in just like this, GTA5 all caps dot exe and process name. And then in the inject list, you need to add DLL and just select the D3D11 ENB DLL. You don't need to bother with this one. Just click the Direct 3D 11 DLL. And again, this video assumes you've already installed ENB and it's just not working. Showing you how to install ENB in the first place, again, beyond the scope of the video. But just select Direct 3D 11. And so you should have it like this. Just make sure it's checked on. The next thing we need to do is go to settings. Make sure auto inject is uh, turned on. So click on that, click OK. After all that's set, you can leave this running. And if you go down here and you click play GTA 5.exe, that should chain load through the Rockstar launcher and all that like it's supposed to. And you'll notice this goes away once the game launches. Boom, it's gone. So it's injected the EMB DLL. Now we just wait for the game to pop up. There we go. And that's EMB running on the current as of the 9th of February, 2024, it's running just fine on the latest version of the game. You may have noticed that that takes a couple of steps, right? You've got to, right, you got to go up here, you got to select Extreme Injector, run it, and then go down here and click, you know, play GTA 5.exe. Okay, I made a batch file that kind of automates all of this. So, so I'm going to show you how to make that. Open up Notepad and enter the text here exactly as you see it. The at symbol echo space off and then in quotes, extreme injector V3. And then the next line in quotes, play GTA 5.exe and then exit at the bottom. And then when you get done, you can name this whatever you want. Just click file, save as. Make sure you do save as type all files and then you save the name as whatever you want dot BAT, which stands for batch file. In my case, I saved mine as GTA 5 launch dot ENB or GTA 5 launch ENB dot BAT. So 
Once that's in there, you can just double click, click yes. It's gonna launch Extreme Injector, then launch the game. And basically, it just kind of does all of it for you and just works. All right, there you go. So I hope this has been helpful. Have a good day. See you later. Bye.